hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Shia today I'll be showing you guys how to make one of Nigeria's popular foods called Akara. Akara is one of the popular foods you see on YouTube with varying recipes but what makes my video extra special is the fact that I'm showing you guys how to make it using beans flour. Yay! So my mother-in-law recently brought us some beans flour from Nigeria and prior to that time I had not been using beans flour to make akara i would normally just use the beans where you soak it and peel it and all of that stuff you know what i mean and then i started to check online to see if i could find recipes of people that had done akara using beans flour and i didn't really find what i was looking for and then i thought why don't you experiment on your own put one or two things together and see how it turns out and i found Finally, you guys, I'm able to come up with this recipe for you guys to see. So I can beat to my chest and say that this recipe is authentic. <laughs> yeah, so if you're interested in seeing how I made this um, akara that my toddler is really enjoying, then please stay tuned. All the ingredients are listed on the screen and the actual quantities would also be stated whilst I use them in the recipe. Notice that I used yellow bell pepper in this recipe and that's because I didn't have red bell peppers when I wanted to make this batch of akara but I can tell you that they tasted pretty much the same, there wasn't any difference in the taste. Okay so you want to start off by adding water to the beans flour of course in a sizable bowl and then you just want to mix that together until you form a paste. Ideally this is what the paste should look like once you're done mixing. You'd also be needing a blender for this recipe and in your blender you're adding your scotch bonnet, your pepper and your onion and you'll also be adding in the paste that you have just mixed with a little more water now that water is going to help the blending process it was going to ease the blending process and you'll notice that what i've done with the water is i've used the water that i need to add onto the mixture to rinse out the bowl just so that we're sure that we're not wasting any pastes or ingredients <laughs> i also like to add my crayfish into the blender um, you can choose to add it afterwards but I just prefer to add it most times to the blender just so that everything blends together. So once you've added all of that you close your blender and you blend all the ingredients until they are all smoothly blended. And once again this is me just showing you what the consistency should look like pretty much once you have blended it all together so after blending we're going to transfer the paste into a bowl make sure that the bowl is sizable because we'll be doing um, a bit of mixing still okay so then now we'll add our salt um, really I don't know quantity for salt really I just feel like it's relative <laughs> it's relative but just add salt to taste and then mix that together so now we'll be adding a quarter cup of beans flour and then we'll just stir that into the mixture until it combines together it's now time to add the egg so just break the egg and add it in basically this one just helps to thicken the mixture and it's not compulsory to be fair but I just like to add it in just for a little bit of thickener um, and then I'm using a hand mixer just to kind of fluff it off or fluff it up <laughs> a little bit but if you do not have a hand mixer you can just use your hand with a spoon to mix it together just for a little while I used this hand mixer for about five minutes in total um, and I just kept 
mixing some people will say you should mix it until it doubles in size but i didn't wait for it to double in size to be fair i just mixed it till i felt like i was comfortable with how it looked which um i will show you guys One very important ingredient that I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video is the oil. You guys, you need oil to fry this akara. <laughs> so whilst I was mixing, I poured some oil in a deep frying pan on a stove. You know, I put it on the stove and then I waited for that to get heated up a little bit. And what I'm then doing is I'm just scooping in the paste with a measuring cup you can use a spoon you can use a small cup if you have but i'm just cooking it bit by bit into the oil um, and we'll just leave that to fry and we'll keep turning it at intervals which i would show you in this video but i think the general trick to deep frying things like akara and puff puff and buns and stuff like that is that you fry with low heat just so that it doesn't get burnt quickly and then it can you can be sure that it's you know fried properly so you don't have soggy soggy akara in the middle once you open up your akara you get what i mean you get it <laughs> so just keep turning just keep turning you know from side to side from up to down <laughs> oh you guys just you know just watch the video And so after frying we just scoop it out of the oil I like to use like a parchment paper or kitchen towel as a base just so it can soak up any excess oil and voila your akara is ready you guys look at how golden brown and sumptuous delicious looking this akara is looking did I say looking twice yes I had to because this akara is not your mate <laughs> and like I always say once my chairman approves of any food that I cook I know that that food is not anybody's mate you too see what you see what he has to say now akara. 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 <laughs> akara. Look at me. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice. Wow. Okay. <laughs> like it. You like it. Okay. <laughs> so, as you can see, fully approved by my able chairman himself. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed and you enjoyed what you saw today or what you're seeing, please do subscribe. I also have other contents that I think you might find interesting. Okay, you guys, I'll see you next week. But till then, stay safe, stay cool, try out this recipe and enjoy yourself. Bye.